Hello, everybody. My name is Goof Norton, and welcome to another broadcast of the Goof Norton Radio Show. Um, this is number 26, I believe. Um, the series is progressing faster than I thought it would. Um, so, sorry if I don't seem as up and, I guess, happy as I usually am. I don't know what's been going on. I've just been kind of down, like, the past two days. Um, I feel like I'm getting sick. I don't feel... It doesn't seem to be happening too fast. It's kind of taking its time. Um, but for the most part, I'm okay. I'll live. I won't... I'm not going to die or anything. I just feel a little bit down. Um, so uh, there's a lot I kind of want to talk about. I don't know if I'll be able to do it all in this... Um, in one show, but I'll try. So obviously recently you guys know that Donald Trump... Donald J. Trump was elected as president... Um, and i mean it happened i just it's it's um it's kind of shocking to see it happen really because nobody like nobody really thought it would happen because even he really didn't even think it was going to happen because in his speech you could kind of see it in his face kind of hear it in his voice a little bit he was surprised he actually won um and he was a little bit more gracious than people thought of course um because he you know he said uh oh, fudge what what did he say um uh, what he, he honored hillary clinton of course um he uh, honored hillary clinton said he uh, she worked hard you know for the whole year in that whole campaign because the campaign was a long time and it took a lot of work so, um i think a year and a half i think of all this and this was one of the roughest campaigns i have ever seen or studied um so far in my in, um, entire life just looking at politics uh so there are some things i have to cover if you guys don't know um for those of you who don't for those of you who don't know um and i'm just gonna go bit by bit by with this um because at first i was, I was, I was kind of like pissed off because you know people are complaining about this a lot but where are the votes you know where are the votes where where are the votes uh, people, a lot of people are complaining, but where are the votes? I, I'm not seeing any votes. Uh, Obama said it. Obama said it himself. Like, don't boo, vote. Don't boo, vote. I mean, it's it's not that hard. Leave your house. It's, it's just go to your nearest poll, you know, polling place, and vote. Like, it's really stupid that so many people are complaining, but they didn't vote. Um, right now, there are a bunch of protests and stuff going on. Uh, at, at Trump Tower across the and, and across the country, of course, because you know Trump got elected, blah blah blah. People are just pissed off, the burning flags and all this stuff. Like that is very unpatriotic of you, of you guys, burning flags. Um, yeah, no, that's not a good idea. Don't don't do that. That's very stupid of you guys to do that. Of anybody to really do that. Don't burn flags and uh, and and people said the world was going to end uh, were people were saying the world was going to end when obama got elected but here we are 8 years later um country is doing better than it was before i mean the you know, unemployment rate is down below i think f- below 5% um you know osama bin laden's dead war has been ended uh, we're doing pretty good right now um i mean of course there's things we could always improve on i mean that's with every other country really um there was uh, there was a video uh, that one of my English teachers he showed me. Um, well, I, actually, no, I saw it prior to him showing me on Facebook because it was on there a, a while ago. Um, I'll probably put the link in description below. In the in the description below, uh, it was why America isn't great anymore. And see, see that that's the slogan. That's Trump's slogan: "Make America great again." But he he needs to be more specific like what are you talking about again like what time are you comparing it to uh, the lack of you know s- like specified information on that is just it's it's kind of enraging because like you say make america great again but what do you mean by that like what time in history are you referring to america being great like there are times and points where it was great but you know not great it was great for some citizens like the dominating citizens um but not for the other citizens who were living there in the minority um because minorities haven't always had a good run in this nation as it is um 
And that kind of like gets me a little bit upset. Now, I, I didn't vote for Trump, and I'm not saying who I voted for because at this point it doesn't really matter, you know, because the results are what it, what they are. Um, but I chose one of the one of the other three candidates. People are always talking about, oh, just, just, just these are just main two. Like there are two others that you could have voted for, um, and, and it really didn't matter too much of how who I voted for because this um, the state of Illinois is democratic and of course it would have gone to clinton either way i voted so um that and the fact that and when the people who say your vote doesn't matter please shut up and stop that that is really really stupid um you don't know how dumb you sound it counts your vote counts your vote matters because you're not only voting for president like get that through your skulls you're not only voting for president you're voting for more than that you got to vote for you know local officials like what's going what's going on in your local government your state government um you know u.s senator not u.s senators state senators state representatives all that you know governors mayors of your towns that you live in like those people are you know they run too they run for election too you know that right um and i'm sorry to sound so angry but it just really has pissed me off so much of what's been going on um because everybody's just losing their minds and going crazy and it's it's freaking stupid but for those of you who say your, your vote doesn't count for towards the presidency you're kind of right because the electoral college does that uh they vote for that that's 538 votes um f for the entire united states uh that gets split up into going for each candidate um now different states of course have different amount of votes the more population the bigger population you have the more uh, votes you have um and there's a more complicated stuff to that which i may get into now a little bit if i can find the map that i just had um pull up on my computer um so sorry my voice is a little bit my uh, throat's a little bit dry um the electoral college is made up of 538 people um these can include you know retired politicians or i don't really remember the specifics on that um and they are the ones who vote for president now i do think i do think that um our votes can in fact influence them like if um if they were planning to vote republican or democrat um like the people could probably persuade them to vote the other way um, I mean, because anything's possible, really. I mean, honestly. <coughs> um, but it, it, most likely not. the The origin of this is it was created by our founding fathers, um, because they never really wanted us to have the power to choose the president, really, in the first place. Um, because it was there just in case we, the people in, um, the people voted for like, you know, some crazy psychopath. Who shouldn't be ever elected president? President, um, that just in case they were happening, they the electoral college could be like, you know, you guys are cute, but uh, no, we're going with this candidate. You know, the smarter choice. Um, so and and it really, I think it got past that because it, it got past that because now they're in total control of who becomes president. The our votes for president are just added up to the popular vote. Hillary won that. Um, won the popular vote. Which, um, uh, one of my, my, um, teacher, my American government teacher, he was, um, he was talking about it. Um, and he was, he was, he, he brought up the discussion of, like, getting rid of it. Like, getting rid of the Electoral College and just, and I think the Senate as well. Um, and just letting the people actually vote. Because that way no vote, you know, gets wasted. There, you don't waste your votes on a third party vote. Your vote, your vote isn't wasted if you uh, vote third party, like Libertarian or Green Party. You know, uh, those votes still count towards that candidate. I, I kind of agree, yet I kind of disagree because I mean, yeah, the, I mean, if too many, you know, I would, I know, I gotta say it, if too many idiots vote, um, people who aren't really caught up in polit not caught up in politics people who aren't informed in politics uh that's bad for the whole country because if we get enough of them to outnumber the smart ones boy we are screwed um so it's just it's it's important that we do have the electoral college because it's there for our safety like we need this if we were to get rid of it it would be 
it'd be chaos, honestly. Um, I, I'd imagine it'd go, it'd go good, obviously, a few times. We'd have to have a good few runs on this, um, on pure political, on pure democratic, um, voting. But, it, it would not, it would definitely not turn out in the long term, because eventually there's gonna be some guy, um, like Trump, but probably even worse. I mean, because I, I can say there's probably somebody, there's somebody out there who's worse than Trump. Um, you know, they just don't get as much publicity because they're not, uh, you know, a billionaire or a celebrity with a failure TV show, uh, which involved him basically just saying you're fired to everyone. Um, is just absolutely terrible. I'm sorry. Um, actually, no, I'm not really sorry. That TV show sucked. Uh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't understand whoever could watch that. Uh, I don't know how. It was terrible. It was awful. Um, so I'm going to try to pull up this map here, and I will hopefully remember what I did with it because that is very important because each state gets a certain amount of votes. Uh, California, I believe, has 55. We have uh, Illinois has 21 uh, electoral votes. Florida gets 29. And... There are certain things like that. Uh, it, it's 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 kind of a complicated thing because they have there's swing states and then there's battleground states and all this stuff. Oh boy, it is it's kind of messed up. Um, now I've been watching a show called Adam Ruins Everything, and it tells you why the the, the electoral uh, college ruins you know democracy. I'll probably put that in the description below. I mean, that's now that's up to you to decide whether you know it's a good thing or not. But that is kind of uh, a thing I w I'd, w I'd like to see all of you check out because um, I want to know your opinions about it. Like I really do. I don't talk politics much on this um, around election time, ma mainly not to show bias because I don't want to be shown bias towards any party because the internet is quick about just just destroying you no matter what party you could be you know a democrat republican i honestly identify as an independent i do not have i do not identify with either party or any party that not green not libertarian or whatever else is out there um i could care less about identifying with a party uh, but instead i try to look for the person who i believe would be the best you know in the presidential position because i don't want someone who's going to tear down the country rather than build it up. Um, so that's that's my stance with political parties. Um, you will not get – you probably won't get more than that from me. Um, uh, so, yeah. In other news, uh, Eric Trump this – is, this, is, this happened before the election um, was finished. Eric Trump might have broken the law because he tweeted a picture – of his election ballot filled out completely filled out which is illegal Ill illegal in new york where he voted um so yeah but i can bet he's probably not going to jail because his father's now the president of the united states and they have enough money to get him out of jail if stuff was to happen uh i i had a i had kind of like an idea to kind of break down the government for you guys I might slide into. I'm gonna probably slide into that now, cause I. Cause let me check my time first. Uh, this is gonna be. Oh yeah, we're gonna be here a while. Um, so. I, I I'm trying to inform the ones who aren't informed right now. The the government is broken down in the three simple branches: the legislative, the executive, and the judicial. The legislative branch is Congress. Um, Sometimes they're idiots, sometimes they're not, you know, <laughs> they're the fun part, um, because they, they make the laws, um, the executive branch enforces and the judicial branch decides whether those laws are constitutional or unconstitutional, um, now, Congress, two houses, broken. Congress is broken down into two houses, Senate, House Representatives, there's 100 senators, and there's 400, there, I forget how many, uh, 400, 35 representatives um yeah 435 representatives in the house um and they're the ones who are making our laws the representatives of course vary 
depending on you know the state i think illinois has three representatives um every state obviously has two senators um <clears throat> sorry my voice is my throat is killing me right now um but yeah so when they do make a decide to make a law it first starts out as an idea is like anything basically um, it gets introduced to Congress, um, gets sent to a committee. If the committee, if it passes the committee, then it goes through and it gets debated. And after uh, quite a few other things, um, there's there's a lot more steps. Trust me, uh, I just don't want to have to go through all of those. Um, after that, Congress then decides on it, and if it gets, if Congress is like, yeah, this is okay, well, well, yeah, this is good. Uh, we want to we want to have this as a law. They'll send it to the president. The president can do one of two things. Actually, he can do three things, but mainly one of two things. He can either, you know, sign it into law, and then it goes out, and it's law. Yay. Or he could veto it, which then Congress can override it with a three-fifths vote. A three-fourths vote. Wow, I'm stupid. A 75% vote. Um, my math is terrible right now. Um, and then it becomes a law. But, but... If it so happens the law is, um, it kind of like goes against our rights, the judicial branch can pretty much tear that down and be like, hey, no, that is not a law. That is not how we run this. Um, we're not doing this. And, I mean, that's that. Like, it, they're the, they're, they're the check on the other two branches just in case something gets passed, you know, without um with that's against our rights because their their whole the judicial branch is all right whole, whole right whole job is to you know protect our rights and make sure that every law that is passed is uh constitutional um now they could pass a law that says hey you can't wear blue shirts on monday because nowhere in the constitution does it say we have the right to wear blue shirts so that something like that could be passed um even though that's like really stupid um, but yeah, like that could happen if Congress wanted to do that, they could do that to us. Sick people. Um, so that that's that. That's the basic. If you want more than that, I'll have to do that separately. I want to get into some of these other stories. Um, in other other news, also in New York, um, on November seventh, a woman was pushed to her death in front of a subway train oh this was like one of the just hardest stories to watch not watch but read um read on because holy crap like this is terrible like this is absolutely horrible i'm i'm very speechless when it comes to this because this woman was like literally just minding her business and some idiot just decided, I'm going to push this lady. And I don't know if it happened to be on purpose. I'm assuming it was on purpose because this just doesn't happen on accident. I mean, woman gets pushed to her death. Her husband, because, and it was, ooh, she, she was pushed on the track and the train came and she was just instantly killed. Um... Her husband said she was one of the nicest people like you could have ever met, and the suspect was wearing a pink spark, pink scarf, uh, pink shirt and scarf, and uh, the uh, suspect lunged at her. So yes, this was on purpose. Um, oh, this was who? This was brutal. This is really, really terrible. Because people were just they could do nothing but sit by and watch, watch this happen. Watch this lady just be gone in a blink of an eye, because um, many of those, many of the witnesses were just shaken. You know, they just stood there in horror, in, uh, in, um, in horror, just watching this happen. Um, I mean, dozens of people are hit by the subway trains each year. Um, most incidents are accidental, and this. This should not really happen that often, honestly. This should, there has to be a remedy for this. 
Um, last year, a woman con was convicted and sentenced to 24 years in prison for fatally pushing a man onto the path of an oncoming subway train in 2012. Um, and I, I really don't want to say too much more too uh, much more about this. Was this a guy or no? This was a female. Oh, this was a woman who pushed a woman. This was the woman. There was a. It was a woman who uh, pushed a lady off the subway. Great, great. Sorry, the video is playing and I'm seeing it with my eyes. This is terrible. Uh, uh I'm moving on to the next story. Sega Genesis is officially back in production and it is glorious. As some of you, um, actually some of you quote-unquote millennials um, will probably not remember, the Sega Genesis was the console to have back in the day. Um, but it's coming back in uh, production thanks to Brazil, maybe? Um, I was not... I was not a Sega kid. I was never a Sega kid. I was that Nintendo kid because Nintendo was awesome. Uh, well, for old school games, the old Nintendo games are awesome. That's what I got to say. Um, Brazil's Tech Toy has developed a new Sega Genesis console that looks almost identical to the original. And it has uh, its traditional cartridge slot and SD card and an SD card reader. <coughs> oh, my throat is killing me right now. Um, sorry, <laughs> I'm trying to, the articles are sometimes a little bit slow. Um, why Brazil, why a Brazilian company is bringing back the old console, you might ask? Well, a Bra well, because in Brazil, around 150, wait, yeah, 150,000 units of Sega Genesis, uh, is, it, it, they, they sell each year around that amount, um, and... They just decided, hey, it's probably a good idea to really, you know, start sending these out. Um, because, of course, as Americans, we enjoy video games. Oh, boy, don't we enjoy video games. Um, but look for Tech Toys Genesis Console to release in June 20, 2017 uh, for approximately 138 U.S. dollars. Um, you can pre-order it now, of course. So, um, I mean, hey, if you want the Sega Genesis, go pre-order it now. I found this on Facebook. I don't know where to go pre-order it. Um, oh, there's a link. Um, I may put that in the description below. So if you want to go pre-order your Sega Genesis now, I will put that in the description below for you guys. I'm going to click on that and copy and paste that to make sure I have that for later. Um, but that will do it for our show, show today. Oh, I am literally going to go... And probably lose my voice from this, um, but that is, that will do it for our show today. Um, I feel I'm feeling a little bit better now that I got all that stuff off my chest. <laughs> oh, oh boy, feels good, feels good to vent. Oh, it's all in it's oh gosh, it's all in Portuguese. <laughs> this is not good. Uh translate, please translate it. Ah. Uh. Oh boy, there we go. That's better. Now I'll, I'll put this link in the description below. Um, you can go pre-order it. They have controls on here if you want them. They have master. Oh, they have a master system evolution that's blue. Blue. It's awesome. Um. So yeah, thank you guys so much for listening to my me venting and me, you know, just spouting out nonsense, nonsense for like uh, almost half an hour. Uh, go, go, enjoy the rest of your day or night whenever you're watching this, and uh, please stay informed on what's going on in your government. You know, don't be ignorant of what's going on in your government because that will ultimately lead to us you know, failing as a country because we need to get together and. Um, you know, come together. We need to just unite as a country again. Um, and this would be the thing that would do it. So, um, next time there is an election, everyone needs to go out and vote. Your vote does matter. It does count. Stop being stupid and lazy. And please get out there and vote. Um, I... I... Uh, even... Yeah, I said I voted. But, um... 
Yes, because it is your civic duty to vote. Because if you don't vote, you cannot complain. You have no room to complain because you didn't vote. Uh, so, um, as, um, who said that? Was that Plato? That wasn't Plato. Was that Plato? Or not Plato. Whatever. Dang it. I, I went over this. Darn. Curse you, famous people. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for listening to this. If you liked it, uh, be sure to hit that like button. Also, subscribe if you haven't already and get updated every time I post another video. Uh, be sure to share this with friends and family and whoever you just want to um, want to uh, hear this. I have to remember everything I said I would put in the description below now because I, I am sure I will forget. Um, but yeah, uh, thanks again everybody for listening and as always I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.